Not a slave in sight. Where is everyone? There aren't even any soldiers. Something feels off. I don't like it. Like the fact that the enemy could ambush us at any moment? Yeah, not crazy about that either. No, not that. Something else. That must be Volron's castle up ahead. I suppose we just walk right up to it then? That's what the guard from before said. Now, if we only knew where they were keeping Xion, we could try to... That's it! Hmm? That weird feeling. It's not just that the city is empty. It feels like no one lives here at all. Now that you mention it, it does feel strangely... artificial. Think maybe it's a district just for the Renans alone? With all this open space? Seems unlikely. about they were danins right that wasn't normal wait you don't think it could have been the fruit of helgen do you no they seem too docile what about astral energy could you sense any coming from them no and i'm pretty sure i could tell if it was if not that though then what speaking of which it didn't look like there was anyone guarding them either They were headed for the castle. I have a... So, any ideas what the deal was with that boatload of weirdos? Your guess is as good as mine. They looked like Dan and slaves, but beyond that... This city is grander and more beautiful than any other we've been to, yet... I know what you mean. From the architecture right down to the people, something feels off somehow. I've long maintained one can glean a lot about a ruler from their city. Considering how unsettling this place is, I'd say I wasn't far off the mark. Despite its surface layer of majesty, walking around inside, it feels more like a hollowed out ruin. I say we follow after that boat. If we're lucky, it might be in the mood to give us some answers. Gives me the creeps. La, your legs are shaking. What? Liar. Just kidding. <laughs> you. I've seen ghost towns that were more alive than this city. Where the hell did all the Danons and Renans go? here either. Looks like the only building up ahead is the castle. That's... They can make crap treasures too. No. No good. It's a dead end. 
I don't relish our chances climbing. Or breaking through, for that matter. And yet, this seems to be the only way inside. Take a look around. There must be a switch or something to... What? What is it this time? Look! Over there! By that murdering monster? It's all a demonstration designed to provoke. To prove to us... No, to Alfin. Just what he's capable of. Kidnapping Xion. Killing all those people. If it's just me he's after, then why hurt them? Why do all this just to get at me? You hear me, Volron? Answer me! Alfin, this is not your fault. Don't give this to him. <laughs> I know. And I won't. My hands are stained with blood. Even so, if we're going to stop that bastard, then I need to keep going. Let's move. <sighs> Damn it. How awful. <sighs> All of those people in the boats. Do you think they had any idea what was going to happen to them? They did a damn good job of concealing it if they did. You ask me, the only thing on their mind was following orders. And I bet I can guess who from. Volron. The only thing they knew was mindless oppression right to the very end. What kind of purpose is that? Living only to die at your master's whim? Being a slave means having your whole life stolen from you. In the worst cases, quite literally. That bastard will get what's coming to him. I'll see to it he does. Is this what I think it is? Those people... They were all... He's sick. Sick and deranged. Remember this well. This is the true face of who we're up against. Hmm. Still, if it's not Fruits of Helgen he's using, then how do you think Volron goes about controlling all of them? They didn't look like they'd been threatened, but they didn't look like they understood anything either. It could be something else, like a potion, perhaps. But frankly, I doubt it. But that would mean... they're following Volron out of choice? But why? Nothing bolsters a despot's authority more than loyalty. Loyalty is advantageous for any ruler. 
or Volron, it means acolytes willing to give their lives for him. As for whether they did it willingly or not, I'd say they're merely puppets dancing to their master's tune. But to the point where they'd give up their own life force? Is that even possible? You just saw it for yourself. And think back to when I was your lord. If I'd asked you to sacrifice yourself for some cause, would you have? <laughs> Dohalim. My apologies. My words got away from me again. No, you're... You're absolutely right. The only difference being that you never demanded such a thing. You wouldn't. All lords are masters in the art of manipulating their subjects' hearts, whether they use fear, torture, or various other methods. The outcome is the same. Fear. No wonder there's no remaining signs of a resistance force in this place. Something's not right. Nothing compared to what you're going through. I won't let you go again. I can take whatever you give me. So please, open your eyes. Sion! I can do this all day. Right here goes. This one's mine. Catapult, ground and pound. Select the other. Take it. I'm finished. Select the other. No further. No further. Right Electric shock. Rising <coughs> Now you see what I can do! Oh, wait, maybe. Oh, yeah. Here's another thing! Rotating pile strange. Here I come! Here comes! 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 all alone. She can't see us or hear us. All of this, it's 
because I pulled away from you. Because I couldn't hold on to you. Shion. No more time for us to rest. Let us finish this. I entrust this blade to you once more. Alfin? Hmm? What is it? While I was away, what did you do? I missed you. Alfin. But after what happened because of me... I got a glimpse of the real you. It was worth it. You could say the pain is some kind of reward. Some reward. You sure all that hurt hasn't done something to your head, too? <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> Is it just me, or are they...? It's been a while. They're just happy to see each other. I know. I mean, it's fine. We all express ourselves in different ways. Leave them be. They should get a room. <laughs> Shaded Aster. Twilight Wind. Blazing Pillar. Shion. Blazing Pillar.
Let's move forward. Thanks. How... So... The Sovereign, the Renes Alma, the fate of Lenigus 300 years ago? Yes. That is a lot to take in, isn't it? I never realized the weight of the burden you were carrying. I could say the same. The person you kept mistaking me for. It was Naori, wasn't it? So? What do you think? Could I be her descendant? It seems likely. You two do look very similar. Kidnapping Xion, mistreating slaves, and who knows what other terrible deeds. Seriously? These so-called lords just think they can do whatever they like. I am deeply ashamed to be one of their kind. Uh, sorry, my bad. I didn't mean you, Dohalim. Do you think Volron could have been behind what just happened with Xion's thorns? I'm not sure. If it was bait he needed, kidnapping her should have sufficed. Perhaps he had some other purpose in mind. Her thorns aside, as a hostage, surely it would have made more sense to keep her close at hand. So why did he leave her unguarded? If getting rid of Alfin was Volron's only priority, then he could have ambushed us directly. It's not as if he lacks the power. He chose not to, which means he's toying with us, prolonging Alfin's suffering as much as he can. But why? What does Volron specifically have against Alfin? Is it because he's leading the Danon Rebellion? Possibly. But try to see it from Volron's perspective. He'd do anything to win the Crown Contest, correct? Knowing that the true Sovereign already exists somewhere is bound to ruffle his feathers. Have your paths crossed before, Alfin? Only when I've been with you guys. In the end, we just find more mysteries. What isn't a mystery is how badly we're gonna beat this creep up once we find him. Uh, what a simple and straightforward person you are, Law. Those things that came out of... ...of Xion are her... Way to give us a heart attack. I wasn't sure how that was gonna pan out for a while there. I'm just glad everyone's safe. Really glad. What about you, Xion? How are you feeling? He didn't... do anything to you, did he? The... The last thing I remember is being back on the ship. Back then. Seeing Alfin's pain return to him the moment he touched me. It brought me back to my childhood. The fear in people's eyes whenever they were around me. And the next thing I knew... Darkness was welling up inside me. It was smothering me. I... I couldn't see anything anymore. I was all alone. Xion... You're okay now. You're safe, Xion. We're here with you. You're not alone any longer. Thank you. Must be Voron's Imperial Guard. They don't seem to be keeping yeah, lookout. Go. More like they're waiting. Oh well, the royal welcome was nice while it lasted. Time to get our fists dirty, huh? Wait, we don't have a plan! As far as Law's concerned, this is the plan. Let's go! Open your eyes! This blind loyalty is just another form of slavery. Glory be to Volra! That's useless. The brainwash. Just like the diamond puppets we killed with that side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That didn't feel great. Those soldiers were just like Intensity. the slaves, driven by a warped sense of loyalty. Yeah, that was just about as hollow a victory as they come. It's strange. I always thought loyalty was one of the greatest virtues out there. Now I'm not so sure. Is it simply a question of where your loyalties lie? Or is it fealty itself that's the problem? Maybe it only becomes a problem the moment you stop thinking for yourself. So if we defeat Volron, you think they might learn to think independently again? Actually, no, never mind. This isn't the time. We can worry about that after we finish the task at hand and defeat Volron. As expected, Volron's elite guard... are quite formidable. Their equipment and training far exceed those of any foot soldier. A grandiose castle for a grandiose city. He really didn't cut any corners. They're certainly akin to each other. And yet, I'd say the castle seems even more reflective of its owner's personality. In what way? It feels overbearing, tyrannical almost, but more than anything, merciless. As if any pretense to ease of living was sacrificed in favor of sending a message. One of domination, and a thirst for total power. In other words, the perfect domicile for our power-crazed foe. That's why he let us in. It's precisely the message he wanted to convey. Almost like he's mocking us. That bastard's in the mood to play? We'll see who's laughing once we've taken him down a peg or two! Is it just me, or is the blazing sword burning even more brightly than before? Yeah, as if the astral energy within it has become more powerful somehow. It would appear Alfin has learned to harness his sovereign abilities to even greater effect. Is that true, Alfin? I... I'm not sure. I don't think I'm doing anything differently. You're not. It's proof of your strengthened bond with Xion. No further explanations needed. Oh, man, for real? Nice! Is that true? How am I supposed to know? <laughs> Fat 
that lot of good the two of you are. I may have a theory or two I could offer. Yeah, no. I think we're good. Now that you mention it, though, I guess I have noticed a change. It's like there isn't as much resistance when energy's being siphoned from my Master Core. Aha! So it is a Bond thing! Aw, you guys! Wait, what about your hand? That thing practically used to give you third-degree burns every time you wielded it, right? Kisara's got a point. And if it's gotten even hotter since then... I won't lie. The searing heat and pain are almost unbearable. Almost. When I'm fighting, I'm somehow able to endure it. It's like... the sword becomes part of me or something. Like I can feel it pulsing through my chest. I... can't describe it. In other words... Your heart burns with a flame more powerful than even that of the sword. Fascinating. Yeah, take it from our resident poet laureate. <sighs> hmm? sign of him here, so I can only assume he's waiting for us in his throne room. What's with all the fake suspense? Why doesn't he just come out and face us? I'll say. It's not like he's had any problem doing that in the past. This is all one big game to him. He's probably savoring every last moment. Like a Zoogle toying with its food before the kill. No wonder he doesn't have any friends. This is all just a ploy to weaken his prey. Wearing us down before the final ambush. It's all too well orchestrated to be anything else. <sighs> Alvin? I'm fine. Once we defeat Volron, the final Master Core will be ours. With that, we can create the Renesalma and finally put an end to this whole nightmare. Going in! Lunar Corruption! 
Some kind of drawbridge? I'm guessing there's no way to kick it back down, huh? Most likely, it's connected to a control apparatus of some sort. I suggest we search around and see what we uncover. Kick the chain to the wall. Oh, I, I never have 
Does anyone else think this may be just a bit too tough for us? Trying to exhaust us? I've got a really bad feeling about this. Take this! So let's be a lever! Going in! Anything in the water is well Now you see what I can do! Aw, oh, dude, feel! Oh, hey. You're not hurt by me! Let's get your energy! I'm only gonna get you far enough! That's no ordinary enemy, I see. Healing arts last. By the way, I wanted to say sorry for attacking you when we first met. This one's tough, but we have no choice. I don't Let me know if you need healing. I owe you 
Looks like we made it here in one piece.
veteran rancher. Have you guys checked your equipment lately? There's certainly an abundance of water in this realm, isn't there? Yeah. We won't have to worry about going hungry around here. Is she saying she can get full off of just water? Seriously, I'll fix you food while we're here. You don't have to worry. Huh? Why are you two so concerned all of a sudden? Shion, could we talk a moment? Do you mind if we chat a bit? Now there's something I never thought I'd hear you say. Remember when we talked about what it was like for me growing up? Well, I thought it only fair that I also get to ask what you were like as a child. My childhood? Maybe you missed the memo that was going around, but... I can't remember anything of my past. I know. Just whatever you can remember. There's gotta be something, right? Hmm. <sighs> Let me think. Well, have I ever told you about my army days? Back when I used to serve under a Dan and Master? Yeah, but that must have been after you were already grown up, right? Do you happen to remember anything from back when you were younger? <sighs> Actually, I remember I had a kid with me. You had a kid? No, of course not. The child's father was another soldier. Back in those days, we risked our lives for a Master we'd never even seen. We just fought for them and didn't even question it. When that kid's dad died and I saw them sitting there crying, I felt this bitter, indescribable feeling. It was like I was drinking something toxic that I knew I shouldn't, but couldn't stop. It was strange. I never understood why I reacted like that. Soldiers died every day. It wasn't anything new. What it tells me is that deep down, you were the same man then as you are now. You've never been able to accept injustice in the world. If you keep talking like that, you're going to embarrass me. I wonder whatever happened to that master and poor kid. Not that there's any way of knowing now. You know, I just remembered that kid was good at sewing dolls. They gave me one once. It was a good luck charm to protect me. Dolls? You go ahead and sleep. I'm going to grab another bite to eat first. Let me hit up the fishing Morning. Part here. Red. Oh, it's way down there. Need to head out? Thank you. 
yeah, fishing time. Lot food, tilapia. Hey, what do you think about that spot? Good idea. I'll go for that one. Travel, travel. There we go. us in a big one. Hopefully it tastes better than it looks.